So we're going to go over on how, how do we shut down a turbine. Come down here, you just landed, you're cooling down. You're going to do a two minute cool down for this particular turbine. Okay, two minute cool down. By the time you get to your two minutes, this, the temperature should be between five to six hundred degrees. Your gas pressure should be idling between 62 and 67 percent. Oil pressure should still be in the green. Everything's looking good. So you've done your two minute cool down. Come down here, turn your generator off. So if you do have to motor the starter during the shutdown, you can do that. It's only one function. It's either a starter or a generator, not both at the same time. So you're going to be at flat idle, obviously for the cool down, since you're letting it cool down at idle. You're going to push the lockout up and you're going to cut the fuel. Nice good snap. Okay. Snap, snap it closed. When you do that, look at these three gauges. When you cut the fuel off, since there's no flame in there anymore, your, your turbine outlet temperature will decrease. Your N1 will spool down and your needle and your needles will split on your tacks. So cool down, spool down, needles have split. Now you're gonna watch your TOT for an for a temperature spike. Temperature should continue to decrease. You should continue to spool down on your gas producer and the needle should continuously decrease on your tax. Um, look for a temperature spike in your, your, your exhaust temperature, your outlet temperature. Um, if there's a power spike, that's from the introduction of fuel accidentally. So in this case, you would you know keep the fuel turned off, but you would press the starter button so it would suck in nice, clean, cool air and it gets all that, that the heat out of the turbine itself. Once your TOT is below 150 degrees and your N1 is at zero, you're done. This thing will not light back up because your gas producer is not producing anymore.